five essential tools. Now obviously, if you are practicing urban design, you are making use of a lot more tools. You are sketching, you are photographing, but because this is an online course, I'm going to be utilizing these five essential tools. GIMP, Inkscape, QGIS, SketchUp, and Google Earth. All five of these software tools are free, freeware. Some of them are open source, and which means that you can actually go in and manipulate and, and add to the software, but some of them are not open source. So let's just quickly overview what these five are. GIMP is the equivalent of Photoshop. Many of you might already be familiar with Photoshop, fine to use any of, any of the um, steps I'm going to talk about in Photoshop, but I wanted to make sure I'm giving everyone access to freeware. So GIMP is a wonderful tool. It's very similar and as powerful as Photoshop. Free download. Um, there's a whole user community. There are tutorials that you can make use of. Um, and. Uh, it's all around a great package. Oh, and I should mention that GIMP is a raster-based uh, image manipulation software. So that means you're dealing with pixels, you're dealing with those little cells and pixels, and imagery um, is really uh, what you will be manipulating in this program. That's a little different from Inkscape, which is a vector-based uh, open uh, graphic manipulation tool. Um, and so Inkscape is the counterpart to what you might know of as Adobe Illustrator. And Adobe Illustrator is a wonderful tool, but it's also expensive. So Inkscape is the free version of Illustrator. And here, rather than being raster-based, you are vector-based, which means it's better for doing things like drawing lines and drawing um, shapes and, and manipulating that. Um, uh, but I should mention that Inkscape and GIMP, uh, do, you do go back and forth between these two packages, and um, we will be demonstrating how to, um, how to do that. QGIS is uh, a program that is, you probably most planners know something about Esri's products, ArcGIS, ArcView, um, and those are wonderful um, GIS packages, but they also are very expensive. QGIS is, I can't say enough good about QGIS. I love QGIS. I only use QGIS. Free open source, completely um, compatible with everything you would do in Esri ArcGIS, has um, the same kind of um, functionality as ArcGIS pack, uh, platforms. What I like about QGIS is it is cross-platform, so you can use it on your Mac and you can use it on your, uh, desk, on your um, PC, and that is really a nice advantage to QGIS. Um, it is also has a very active um, support community. So um, any questions you have, you go ahead and ask your question on the online um, blogs and, and various sites QGIS has, and you'll get your question answered. SketchUp. Uh, I don't know if there's many planners who still aren't familiar with SketchUp, but SketchUp has really been a game changer for urban planning, in my opinion. Now we can visualize buildings in three dimensions. We can visualize entire cities, entire neighborhoods in three dimensions. And SketchUp is absolutely essential to urban planning and to urban design. And we will be making use of SketchUp. Also, a free download. Uh, this is freeware, but it is not open source. Um, and there are some, unlike the other software tools, SketchUp, the free version, is not quite as good as the uh, version that you can purchase, which is SketchUp Pro. But I will be using uh, solely the free version of SketchUp, and I'll show you how to do a few workarounds. Finally, um, Google Earth. Where were we before Google Earth? Google Earth has been another game changer for urban planning because now suddenly you can fly around anywhere on the globe and take a look at what cities are 
like in other parts of the world. And in our own cities, um, you can really experience um, different places. And that, that is a huge asset for urban planning. So um, I'm going to be talking about how to interchange and communicate between Google Earth and SketchUp and between GIMP and Google Earth. And um, we will be interchanging and working with all of these five tools.